I knew I wanted to become an engineer. I was not aware of what I should do to become successful. I did not have the resources, no support system at all. I grew up in Malawi. Malawi is arguably the fourth poorest country in the world. No access to water, no access to power. Everything being centered around, if you don't grow it, you can't eat it. I come from the background of poverty, abuse, violence. As an adult, these experiences made me believe that perhaps I won't amount to anything. Perhaps I can't set ambitious goals. When I came to the States, I saw a lot of success in technology, but the entire time, my heart was still back in Malawi. I created the Pewani Initiative. The original goal was to be able to bring quality education to the most remote parts of Malawi. Give them an opportunity to be able to learn so that they could eventually get a position and a role in high tech. I wanted to become Salesforce certified, but I lived in a prison of self-doubt. I decided to give myself a chance, and I became 19 times Salesforce certified in one year. After all the adversity I've experienced, I'm now in a position to encourage and empower others. I helped more than 1,000 trailblazers become Salesforce certified and land their dream jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. You're letting me know, like, hey, if I can do this, you can do it. I am very passionate about changing the way education is accessible in India. I really don't want other people to struggle as much as I did. When I joined Salesforce, I created Salesforce Supported Virtual Internship, which creates that bridge on which the person can walk, get skilled, connect to mentors locally, and find a job in our ecosystem. We have about 65,000 learners who have completed the program, and we could connect about 5,000 learners to the jobs. We have Trailhead e-learning academies. We actually have some students who are now working for US-based companies building Einstein AI as a result of that education. We are with the most populated country in the world now. If we don't make a leveling play field, then this whole divide will keep on growing. I want everybody who hears my story to feel I can do it too. And not wait another day to chase after their dreams. I will quote a Malawian proverb, Pangono, Pangono, Jim Tola. Basically, it means little by little makes a bundle. Do things consistently, and I think what you're going to find is you will have blazed a trail at the end without realizing it.